Hey there guys, how you doing? Steve Donahoe here from DCS Sales Marketing and uh, there's something I want to show right now which was very, very concerning in regards to a scam that's going on on PayPal and I just want to give you an idea on how this actually is working and uh, to be very wary of it because it is quite easy to actually to get drawn into the actual uh, notification the way that they say it to contact PayPal but it's actually not PayPal that you're contacting and I'll show you the reasoning why uh, how they work this they're actually just working on that they actually request money from you from your PayPal account okay now PayPal will see that as a transaction and send you an email to it and I'll show you that email what I'm talking about There. Excuse me for a minute, we'll just have to look in there. Okay, so you'll see service at PayPal. Uh, I sent a message in regards to this, but if you have a look here, you'll see that Deborah Miller sent me a money request, and the note was the actual amount was 400 uh sorry 780 if you have a look down the bottom here 787 dollars and 99 cents now she requested this from me which i have no idea who this person is but what i want to show you what the scam is and you've got to be very wary of is that you'll see that there was a note from deborah miller now if you don't really notice that you think it's coming from PayPal itself and you'll see it says we have detected that your PayPal account has been accessed fraudulently. If you did not make this transaction, please call us our toll-free number and this number here to cancel and claim a refund. If this is not the case, you will be charged $787.99 today. By our banking department within 24 hours of receiving these PayPal and this is where you can see what the way they've, they've actually worded this PayPal and it's actually got like a space in there which is a cut and copy you can see it copy and paste because uh, usually these letters will come up and uh, it, it that uh, PayPal activity and it actually came up a and B which is a space and uh, using HTML so that was a red flag when I saw that straight away um, but I actually contacted this number just to see what this number was and you'll actually have just an Indian person that will actually answer and you will actually hear in the background it always sounds like it's busy and the um, person will say they're from PayPal and I said okay see so from PayPal number one with PayPal when you go into the PayPal account uh, you actually get a recording of to press one or two or whatever it is to speak to the representative to in regards to what your call is about and they actually require the ID that who you are and your last four numbers of your social security so they have a very very strong security measure before you even go into the the actual um, the support for PayPal but this here it literally the phone answered and there was a pause there for a while and then I said Hi, hello who is this and then said, oh, hello, how, how are you doing? I'm from PayPal, uh, PayPal support, uh, PayPal fraud. And I said, really? And they asked me a few questions and they wanted to see if I had a laptop or a desktop that they would be able to access to the email that they can run me through on how we're going to get our funds returned. Now, what they literally said was, that the transaction had already been processed 
And what they wanted to do is they actually wanted my um, information to contact them in regards to my card and give them the card so they can actually reimburse it back into the card. Okay, so once you've actually done that and this number is a scam number, you've given them your access to that uh, banking account for them to be able to actually take that money out. Okay, uh, when you actually do see the payment, when it comes through PayPal, and I'll show you that too, um, PayPal itself, This is my account in PayPal, and you'll see here I cancelled it. So seven eighty seven ninety nine cancelled, and I cancelled that there. But the request amount was cancelled. But if you don't, if you hit pay on it, then it'll automatically come out of your account. Okay. So I have no idea who this Deborah Miller is. I, I report it to PayPal, and they said it's a phishing uh, scam going on. So. They are giving a false representation that they are the fraudulent um, uh, investigators. And in actual fact, when you see this comes up and it requests, they have it in their notes that the person that sent it to you and this information here, that they've actually written this. Not PayPal themselves, but they... Have written this okay so when you automatically so I, I tried to show you the actual PayPal but under their security message they won't allow you to do a screenshot or a recording on it which is um, a privacy security feature of PayPal but the actual letter that I showed you the actual um, email is exactly what they would send in the request so that email that i showed you which is this information here which is totally the same information of what they have actually put uh in the request is is what you see so deborah miller sent you a money request and then the note is directly under it so as soon as you see it and you look at paypal then you obviously look at it straight away if you don't read note from Deborah Miller herself uh, that you think PayPal sent this to you and a fraudulent procedure is going to take place because of it or if you don't contact that number uh, within 24 hours your money is going to be taken out but they make you call that number so they can say the transaction's already processed but we can uh, recall it if you give us your credit card and or banking information and we can put it back as a transaction reversal okay that's how the scam works and once you've done that then you're out of that money that they've actually there because now you've allowed um, PayPal to do that transaction because you hit pay okay so they'll tell you to hit pay first on the actual transaction and then they'll say they will cancel the transaction but they don't cancel the transaction because it's not PayPal. Okay, so that's the way it works, guys. Please be very, very careful of this. Let um, friends uh, and family know this horrible, horrible scam is going through PayPal and hopefully PayPal will be able to do some security measure to stop this from happening. But I can see a lot of elderly people and retired people falling for this and not looking and getting scammed a lot of money out of this. Okay, so I just wanted to have people be aware of this and uh, hopefully uh, they will shut it down. All right, God bless guys. Bye.